Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Surbhi Sharma. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Thursday, the 4th of April. India's Congress Party President files nomination for general election 2019. Pakistanis feel crunch of rising prices. And peace will not mean Talibanization of Afghanistan, says Chief Executive Abdullah. And now for all the details. Rahul Gandhi, the President of India's main opposition Congress party, on Thursday filed his nomination papers for the upcoming general election from Wayanad constituency in India's southern Kerala province. The general election will take place in seven phases between April 11 and May 19. President of India's main opposition Congress party, Rahul Gandhi on Thursday filed his nomination papers for the upcoming general election from Wayanad constituency in India's southern Kerala province. The sign of Nehru Gandhi family came to file the nomination with his sister Priyanka Gandhi and other regional leaders of the party amid loud cheers from supporters. Rahul Gandhi has been contesting from the family bastion of Amethi in northern Uttar Pradesh province, which was also the constituency of his father, former Indian Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. He will contest from both Amethi and Vayanad for the elections that will start from April 11th. I have come to Kerala to send a message that India is one country. South, North, East, West, Centre is one country. After filing his nomination, Rahul Gandhi held a road show along with Priyanka as a show of strength in the constituency. The Congress chief is set to challenge Prime Minister Narendra Modi's ruling Bharatiya Janata Party or BJP in the general election in April. The general election will take place in seven phases between April 11 and May 19. Results will be announced on May 23rd. With inflation reaching its highest in more than five years in Pakistan, people across the country are saying it has shattered their faith in a government elected last year on a pledge to eradicate poverty and create jobs. There has been strong increases in prices of food and energy, the two most sensitive items for most consumers. Inflation has reached its highest in more than five years in Pakistan and residents across the country say it has shattered their faith in a government elected last year on a pledge to eradicate poverty, create jobs and build an Islamic welfare state. Residents of the major cities say they are already feeling the pinch and fear the worst for the future. Inflation was over 9.4% in March, its highest since November 2013, with strong increases in food and energy the two most sensitive items for most consumers. The central bank forecasts growth at 3.5 to 4% in the 12 months to end June, well off a government target of 6.2%. Badi tawakwa thi, bada badi umidhe thi, badi arzu thi ke ye hukumat hamare liye kuch karegi, magar inhone bhi hasbe rewayat, rewayat koi nibaya aur sabik hukmaranu ki tarah hamari jebon par dhakedi marne ki koshish ki. Ham mazid pis jayenge, yakinan jab petrol mein izafa hota hai, तो सीधी सी बात है दूध में रोजमर्रा की अशिया में सब्जियों में दालों में चावलों में यानी हर उस शे पे इजाफा हो जाएगा जो एक आम आदमी इस्तेमाल करता है यानी मैं और मेरे बच्चे इस्तेमाल करते हैं विद द रुपी लूजिंग ओवर अ क्वार्टर ऑफ इट्स वैल्यू इन द पास्ट ईयर द स्क्वीज इज एक्यूट इन द क्रीकिंग पावर सेक्टर वेयर द गवर्नमेंट इज अंडर प्रेशर टू कट सब्सिडीज कुशनिंग कंज्यूमर्स अगेंस्ट शार्प प्राइस हाइक्स इमरान खान साहब तो बड़ी बातें कर रहे हैं कि नौकरी दूंगा ये करूंगा वो करो गुर्बत मिटाऊंगा गुर्बत नहीं मिटाएगा वो गरीब मिटाएगा वाइल इकोनॉमिस्ट बिलीव पाकिस्तान हैज नो चॉइस बट टू कट स्पेंडिंग एंड रेज प्राइजेस कंज्यूमर से पेशेंस इज वियरिंग थिन इन इज फ्रॉम अफगानिस्तान अफगानिस्तान चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव अब्दुल्ला अब्दुल्ला हैज सेड पीस विद द तालिबान विल नॉट मीन द तालिबानाइजेशन ऑफ द कंट्री or underestimating the rights of the Afghan people. He said that peace with the group somehow should be taken as a compromise. Afghanistan's chief executive Abdullah Abdullah on Wednesday said 
peace with the taliban will not mean the talibanization of afghanistan or underestimating the rights of the afghan people he said peace with the group somehow should be taken as a compromise and this means that the achievements of the country should be protected he made the remarks while addressing a ceremony in kabul marking nato's 70th anniversary we assure them ما اطمینان دادیم که صلح به معنای طالبانی شدن کشور نیست صلح به معنای نادیده گرفتن حقوق شهروندان افغانستان نیست صلح به معنای سازش هاست The remarks by the chief executive came on the same day he attended a meeting with Afghan President Ashraf Ghani, a number of prominent Afghan politicians and US special envoy Zelmay Khalilzad to exchange views on the peace process The participants in the meeting discussed the peace efforts and the next steps for ending the Afghan war a statement by Afghan presidential palace said More news from Afghanistan recent clashes between the Taliban and Islamic state in Afghanistan's Kunar province have left several residents homeless local officials in the province said the security forces are on alert to foil any possible hostile move by the militants in the area Recent battles between the Taliban and the Islamic State or Daesh militants have left over 2000 families homeless in Kunar's Chapadara district in the east of Afghanistan. Shamsuddin, a resident of Kunar province who has fled the area under control of Daesh along with his 14 member family said, battles have dramatically intensified between Daesh militants and the Taliban in recent weeks. But local officials in Kunar said The security forces are on alert to foil any possible hostile move by Daesh outfits in the area. The jang jagro to wajina che zaman corona lane ki ga mang ma shuman lane ki ki mang khpal saru na raise de tol mal ash tamani ar sana na pate shivi di. Ja esa poroza da. Puti poja ta jilta Punjabi anam sta, Pakistani anam sta, aw din ahmayat kai. Chapadara district is located in the south of Kunar province and has over 27000 population. Security officials in the area said that reinforcements have been sent to foil possible threat by militants. Bamboo craftsmen in a remote village in India's northeastern Assam province are using organic methods to ensure better durability and quality of their products. The craftsmen make furniture items, decorative items and other products of daily use with bamboo that are more attractive and pocket friendly. Bamboo craftsmen in India's northeastern Assam province have been using organic methods to ensure better durability and quality of their products. Craftsmen in remote village of Dibrugarh use cow dung and other chemical free alternatives to keep their bamboo based furniture products durable and increase its longevity. The craftsmen make furniture items, decorative items and other products of daily use with bamboo that are more attractive and pocket friendly. Bazaar bhi hum jo log ko wo order diya hai नेट हमको फेसबुक में हम दिया है और ऐसे ऐसे काम हम वर्कशॉप में किया है ऐसे ऐसे लोग फेसबुक में देख देखे को ऑर्डर दिएगा यहाँ का सामान का खासियत है जो बम्बू पानी में डालता है लोग गोबर गोमूत दे के डाल के एक महीना तक रखता है वो रखने का बाद इसमें बम्बू में कीरा कीरा नहीं लगता है काठ का सामान में जो बाजार में बिकता है वो सामान में कीरा लगता है जल्दी इसमें कीरा नहीं लगता है The organic approach to making furniture has been welcomed with positive reactions from customers who are now frequenting the bamboo shops. But there has been a decline in bamboo production in the last few years and the import of cheaper Chinese products have made it difficult for the northeastern provinces as they are traditionally known as India's bamboo hub. An exhibition of micro, small and medium enterprises was recently organized in India's northern Srinagar city to promote the locally manufactured products. The exhibition was aimed at encouraging the youngsters to start their own manufacturing units and increase employment opportunities in the valley. With an objective of providing a platform to the local entrepreneurs to display their products for the customers, an exhibition of micro, small and medium enterprises was recently organized in India's northern Srinagar city. 
Scores of young entrepreneurs, including students from different polytechnic colleges, put up their stalls in the exhibition, displaying Kashmiri handicraft, handloom items, spices, pickles, furniture, decorative items and other locally made products. The exhibition was aimed at encouraging the youngsters to start their own manufacturing units and increase the employment opportunities in the valley. तो अगर ये बच्चे अपने क्लस्टर्स में ये यूनिट्स छोटे मोटे खोलें जो हमारे स्टूडेंट्स ने किया भी है बहुत सारों ने तो अंडर स्किल डेवलपमेंट भी वो काफ़ी चीज़ें कर रहे हैं प्रमोट फिर उनको ये मौका मिलना चाहिए वो एग्जिबिट करने का तो अगर वो करेंगे ऐसे ये जो एग्जिबिशन्स वगैरह और जो ये इनिशियटिव एम ने लिया है ये हेल्प करेंगे हमारे स्टूडेंट्स को प्रमोट करने में देखिए मैं आपको कहता हूँ दिस इज जस्ट द बिगिनिंग मकसद इसका है ये एक्सक्लूसिव एम एस एग्जिबिशन हमने रखी है जो भी लोकली यहाँ प्रोड्यूस हो रहा है कश्मीर में जो बनाते हैं यहाँ एक ट्रेड अलग बात है और मैन्युफैक्चरिंग अलग बात है जो मैन्युफैक्चरर्स यहाँ के हैं वो अपने प्रोडक्ट्स यहाँ पे डिस्प्ले कर रहे हैं कश्मीर वैली हैज़ विटनेस्ड अ रिमार्केबल इंक्रीज इन स्मॉल एंड मीडियम स्केल इंडस्ट्रियल यूनिट्स ऑल ओवर द प्रोविंस इन द रिसेंट ईयर्स ऑन्ट्रप्रिनोर्स एज वेल एज विजिटर्स प्रेज द स्टेप्स टेकन बाई द अथॉरिटीज एंड होप that such exhibitions are organized on regular intervals to promote local products of the valley exiled tibetan spiritual leader dalai lama on thursday launched a holistic learning program in indian capital new delhi the program is aimed at encouraging and incorporating social emotional and ethical learning to students along with cultivating compassion from an early age Exiled Tibetan spiritual leader Dalai Lama on Thursday launched a holistic learning program in Indian capital New Delhi. During the session called Social, Emotional and Ethical Program, the Nobel Peace Laureate said 21st century should be a century of peace and people should try to achieve that through education. The program is aimed at encouraging and incorporating social, emotional and ethical learning to students along with cultivating compassion from an early age. The from kindergarten we should uh, include some education uh, about not only external thing but internal mm -hmm. basic human value. Tibetan spiritual leader Dalai Lama is known globally for spreading message of peace through his sermons and holding teaching sessions across the world. Well that's the way it was in South Asia this evening before we conclude the top stories once again. India's Congress party president files nomination for general election 2019. Pakistanis feel crunch of rising prices. And peace will not mean Talibanization of Afghanistan, says Chief Executive Abdullah. Now our viewers can watch the show on southasianewsline.com. You can also visit us on facebookcom newsline and follow us on Twitter at asianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>